What's up, everybody? I'm your rabbit here for Drift 21. So you guys have spoken and said you want to see the S15 get built up. So we're gonna build up the S15, do some body kits and stuff on those lines. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put your in the description box below. But let's get to it. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, we gotta clean up the garage of our mess of parts and crap from the BRZ. So we're gonna clean up the garage. So we're going to be taking off the wheels and stuff, but first let us make sure we put the right fuel rail in this car and actually get ourselves back up to a thousand horsepower. So we're gonna go E, we're gonna go fuel rail part. Um is it this one? See if it's this one. So let's see what car parameters are with this. Run dyno, 915 horsepower. So I think there's another one that we can do that will be a little bit better. Sport rail, stage three. Let's check the parameters now. Yep, there it is, 1,039 horsepower in this car so hopefully our clutch can hold that so I'm unsure if <laughs> we put a full clutch in this car so that may be a problem but so we got all that we don't have a performance fuel taken in for stage two or sport rear control arms, sport brakes, sports body kit. Okay, so we don't have the fuel cell in this car. So let's uh, open the trunk and maybe see about swapping out for a fuel cell. Drop my perfectly good fuel cell on the ground and then take that. Looks like a radium fuel cell. I'm going to put no it, well not or is it got to go in the trunk I knew there's a reason I think I opened the trunk up I think it's because this has to go in the actual trunk there we go fuel cell has to go in the trunk so now did that change our parameters for the car power let's see no so we're still at 1039 we got our fuel cell in the trunk close that up so we're gonna have to put rear suspension and stuff on this car so we're gonna take the rear wheels and take all our wheels off we're gonna be putting some bigger wheels and stuff on this car cuz well we're gonna go with a wide body kit so we're also gonna put some bigger brakes and everything on it cuz well the thousand some horsepower we're gonna need to be able to stop so let's take off the factory brake parts take off factory brake caliper take off that and then go here and we're gonna go with no we're gonna go with the okay so I guess 300 is the biggest sure 300 and we'll go with a six piston front and then we'll go with the stage three drilled and slotted in there so we're gonna take the other side apart now and do the same thing on this front Get rid of the small brackets, dropping all these parts on the ground, throw on our E, go here, no, what, oh, it just lagged, and go 300, oh, uh, okay, apparently they got hooked up, and then six pistons in the rear, and then drilled and slotted in the front. So we'll do that, we're going to have to mess with the rear brakes. Because we're going to have to do the upgraded control arms and stuff like that. But let's get a body kit actually installed on this car and get our wheel placement. So, 
close that hood. Do we get different hoods? Do we do? We have type two and type three. I do like the type two. So we're gonna go yes. And then we're gonna take that off. Oh, no. Well. We're gonna rotate the hood and just kind of put it up against the wall. There we go. Stock Sylvia hood. We have the upgraded hood on there now. We're gonna have to take this beast to the paint shop. Now I'm trying to debate what type bumper do I wanna do? Type three. Let's take a look at fenders first. We're gonna go with Y body fenders. We're gonna put all of our uh, factory pieces over here. And then enter that in there. Take our factory fenders. Have a garage sale. S15 parts. Anybody wanna, wow, is it really wide? Yep, we're gonna go Y body. Kick that there. And we're going full wide on this 15. Dropping all our factory parts off. Okay, so that is really massively wide. So now, do we have, can we add skirts? We can. We'll have to add the side skirts on there. Add our side skirts. Okay, and we're gonna get rid of E. So let's take a look at rear bumpers, I think. I think we're going to go type 2s. No, no. I don't know if I like type 2 as much as I thought, but let's see here. No, the type 2s do not match. So type 3s it is. Stack a type 2 bumper over there. Okay, so type 3s. So we're going to go with the type 3 front. Put our bumper over here as well, over somewhere. Okay, so now the car has almost a full body kit on it. Uh, can we change the trunk lid? No, standard type 1. But we're going to have to add a wing to this because I feel like this car would not be perfect without a wing. And let's see what types of wings we got. You know we're gonna go with the big wing on the car. Huh, yes. So, now we got full body kit and everything on the car. 1,000 horsepower. We're gonna need to put some wheels on here so we can take it to the paint shop. So we're gonna put these factory wheels on right now that we have lying around originally. Nope, dropped it on my gas tank. Oh, we're... <laughs> We're definitely gonna need to space these wheels out for sure with some uh, some big spacers, but we're gonna have to paint the car first, I feel. Or should we get all the fitment right? All right, we'll do all the fitment right first. So let's drop these wheels off. We'll get our wheels and everything set up before we go to the paint shop. Let us figure out what wheels we want to do first and foremost. Figure out what rims we want. We're gonna do 18s. Haven't decided what wheels I really want to do. Kind of like the Shogun's or the yeah the Shogun ones. It's very uh, S15ish. So I think we'll go with 19-inch Shogun's or 18-inch Shogun's. They kind of look like B lockers and truck wheels. I don't know if I like those anymore. Those aren't even Shogun's. What am I looking at? 18 inch Shogun's. We'll do those. Yes, buy those. So we're going to do rear wheels first. And we're going to, well, we're going to buy all of these wheels first. And just, just drop them. Just drop them off over here. You know, lay our nice new, brand new wheels on the ground. So we're gonna do rear tires. I think we're gonna do some wide eight, some wide boys. What do we got? 295s, 265, 265, 30, 17s, type sevens. We have those. 
type sixes. I'm trying to find like the their mediums, their softs, their super softs. Feel like those should have more grip. So I think we're gonna do. I'm trying to find out the coolest looking tires. All right, we'll go with type sevens. So we're gonna mount that up. Take that off. Throw that on the balancer. Take another wheel on here and another 265 type seven. We're gonna run 265s in the rear. And then I think we need spacers. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need some uh, some wide boy spacers on here. So we'll let that lay down there. Take this off. And then for front tires, I think we're going to run 255 type sevens. Sounds good to me. So 250. Wow, well, those are are those type sevens? Those look a little different. Those do look different. Okay, spending money on stuff I don't need. Those are type sevens. Those are totally different tread patterns. Well, that's not cool. I kind of wanted the same tread pattern as front and rear, but apparently those are not a thing. So, oh, well, those are also 19s. Rip on my part, 235s. So, 235s? Sure. Guess we're doing 235s in the front. So many options to do in this game with building of cars and stuff like that. There's just so much to look into. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll let you find the description box below. I'm going to have to pop this boy up here. And then we're going to buy that one. Spin that. Did I rotate? Did I spin this one already? I don't know. Man, I wish doing tires were this easy in real life. Come on, go up. Thank you. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to space out the fronts too. So we're gonna need some big spacers for these. So let's figure out our spacers in the rear. Did I just freeze my game? I think I did. So we froze the game and we did not mount any wheels or tires. So it did not finish my mounting of my wheels and tires. So let's mount our factory ones up and at least put this thing into the paint shop and get it all one color to end this episode off for today. That's kind of unfortunate and well, that's not fun. Move the car to the paint booth, paint mode. I do like that blue though. We can change different types. We can make it matte. We're going to go with a blue gloss. I think we're going to paint that how that is. And then we will go back to the garage with the car in full paint. So the S15 has full paint now. Has our 11 or 1,000 horsepower. Now we just need to get our fitment and wheels mounted and everything like that. But we will do that next episode and this thing will hit the track. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Mm -hmm.